After several employees filed discrimination complaints against the Rockford Housing Authority over the past two years, Alderman reached out to 13 investigates with concerns about RHA's leadership. 13 News reporter William Engels joins us with what they want to see changed and also the limitations they're facing to do it. William. Brittany, after several former RHA employees reached out to 13 investigates, we looked into the issue and uncovered five equal employment opportunity complaints since 2019. Two aldermen say the string of complaints is a major cause for concern that should be addressed in council chambers, but their ability to change leadership at RHA is limited. I don't think that it was a fair termination at all. Despite my charges of discrimination, the RHA continued its discrimination and retaliation practices against me. If you're going to terminate me for something, then you should also use the same techniques and the same uh, um, whatever it is, measures that you went through with me to with everyone else. Three different people all worked at RHA, all coming forward with the same claims of racial discrimination and wrongful termination. Since 2019, five RHA employees have filed charges of discrimination with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission from documents obtained by 13 investigates from a Freedom of Information Act request. One of those claims has already been settled by RHA, two others now under federal investigation, and two Rockford aldermen say this has never been brought up to the council, despite the RHA chairperson, Karen Hoffman, also being a Rockford alderman. I have talked with Karen Hoffman in the past, and she has never brought this up to me, the fact that there were issues regarding discrimination. The alderman who represents, who, who is the current board chairman, has repeatedly told us there's nothing to look at here and you are overstepping your bounds to even be questioning what's going on at the RHA. For 14th Ward Alderman Mark Bonney, the complaints and grievances are at a point where he believes RHA leadership needs to address the council immediately. I feel that there's no reason why the RHA cannot come to the council and uh, present as many other uh, public and nonprofit bodies do and why they cannot answer questions from aldermen. But for 13th Ward Alderman Linda McNeely, the issue has progressed past talking to a point where the only solution she sees is an overhaul in leadership at RHA. These are issues that didn't just happen in the last month or even six months. That whole board and the CEO needs to be removed and new individuals need to be placed. We reached out to both RHA CEO Laura Schneider and RHA board chair Karen Hoffman. Both declined to comment on personnel issues, but Hoffman gave this statement in response to Alderman asking for her and Schneider's removal. You should also know that per HUD slash IDHA, the City Council has no authority to pursue this issue. The only authority they have is to approve or deny any persons put forth by the mayor. The City of Rockford backs that up, saying the Rockford Housing Authority is its own unit of local government, separate and distinct from the City of Rockford. Per statute, their board is appointed by the mayor and City Council, but RHA is its own government body. RHA employees are not City of Rockford employees. As such, neither the mayor nor city council are involved in personnel matters, including hiring, firing, discipline, termination, or other related issues, end quote, which leads the validity of the most recent allegations against RHA to the EEOC as it continues its investigation on these charges. We looked into this story after people reached out to our 13 Investigates tip line. If you have a story you want us to look into, call 815-335-7890 to speak to the 13 Investigates team. Brittany.